Hey guys, I'm Daisho here bringing you some Hearthstone, and today I'm going to be playing Handlock. And this is another one of the ranked decks that is pretty popular right now. Not 100% sure how good it is on the current ladder. Probably too much aggro going around for it to be very good. I mean, it doesn't have a wonderful matchup against the Hunter decks or the aggressive Warlock decks. But it does have some good elements to it and definitely can uh, can win some games. It's really good against other control decks because of all this top end stuff, these giants and Alexstrasza, Draxus, Siphon Soul, like uh, Faceless. There's just a lot of cool things going on at the top of the deck list that allow it to uh, win some extra games that it probably shouldn't win against other things. But anyway gonna be playing some of that here we'll see how it goes it added the new super secret tech of Leroy Jenkins plus power overwhelming plus faceless manipulator so on 10 mana you can hit for 20 damage which is even more than the druid combo although that is also reliant on only two cards as opposed to three um, this one can do 10 damage with two cards and five mana though so a little different and then if you throw in soul fire as a third card then that can be 14 as well all right so we're playing against a rogue not a hundred percent sure what to think of that and i also am not really quite certain on how to mulligan with this deck it might just be that you're supposed to always keep your taunters and in fact i think i will actually no i won't i will try and mulligan into a twilight drake because i think that's the best card in this deck in the early game Power Overwhelming is the worst. It, I only ever want to cast it um, when the game is ending. So turn two, I'm definitely going to tap. I'm going to draw a card. Not 100% sure what my opponent's playing, but I have a good... I can... Uh, it looks like it's actually going to be a Tempo Rogue. Ugh. All right. Well, that, that makes my turn three play pretty simple. So now my opponent knows exactly what I'm playing. Those were two bad draws, or one of them would have been fine, but I definitely did not need to draw both of those. Um, so yeah, my turn two, my turn three play was up in the air, um, whether it would just be life tap or drop an earthen ring farseer. But dropping this earthen ring farseer is very important because I need to take care of his creatures. Um, it's a little annoying because it makes my mountain giant um, cost a lot more and my twilight drake a lot less effective. But I think I needed to do it. Alright, so he's got a, a deadly poison here. Oh, this is not good. I can still win this one, I think. It was probably a good draw. So this is going to be a 4-7 here. Still rather big. He needs to send his whole board at it to kill it. Right now, those decks don't usually play any silence. He might have like a sap or something. Um, okay, so he's just going for my face here, which um I might I might just shadow flame here. I might need to shadow flame in order to survive. Hmm. Yeah, I think I will. I mean, I could power overwhelming and shadow flame the void walker. No. Nah. I think we're just gonna shadow flame this guy and play a void walker. And I'm still at 13, so I have a, a reasonable amount of life left. Um, hopefully, I can get up to my Alexstrasza at some point. Backstab, sure. Yeah. Okay. I was really hoping it would be a dagger and not a uh, a three three bro. Another one of those SI seven agents. That would be kind of annoying. Alright, so I actually think I need to draw here. Ancient Watcher. Well, I don't have any... Yeah, I don't have any heal... Um, sorry. I don't have any taunters, so playing Ancient Watcher is not very good right now. I wish... Well, I guess having it a turn earlier wouldn't really have done me much good. Because I couldn't play it with Shadow Flame in the same turn. But it would have been a better thing to Shadow Flame than my other guy. So I don't know what happened, but my opponent stopped playing things. Um, I have to decide if I want to take another damage to draw an extra card here. I don't think I really need the extra cards. I do want to hit my taunters, but I think it's more important 
Oh, I'm dead to Leroy, Shadow Step Leroy. If I do that, alright. Um, let's play this guy out first. And I think this one too. I mean, I can still cast this thing next turn, so it's not really an issue. And then I can play Jaraxxus or Alex Straza if I need to. I think just not being dead to Leroy, Shadow Step Leroy is a good play. My opponent's got four cards in hand, and he hadn't done anything for two turns in a row. So he's got to be holding something like Shadow Step or Cold Blood or Eviscerate. So um, trying to put up Taunters and Stabilize seems to make some sense to me. I haven't had a particularly good draw. If I had drawn my Molten Giants, I'd be in really good shape. If I had a Defender of Argus, I think I would be in good shape. So I guess it turns out that Twilight Drake wasn't quite as good. Although I, 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 th I thought my opponent would be playing Miracle Rogue or like a, a more tempo-y Rogue as opposed to whatever he's doing. Um, I mean, I haven't seen any loot orders or uh, two fours or anything like that. So, all right. That's a weird one to bounce here. Okay, so you just wanted to kill the Sengen Shield Master. I guess that makes sense. Alright. Leroy. So Leroy right here is only 14... is only 10 damage. 13... Yeah, not quite lethal. Uh, so do I want to tap? Like, how confident am I that my opponent has Leroy Shadow Step Leroy? Probably not confident enough. I think I'm still going to... Yeah, I think I'm still going to tap here. Because I'm in very good... Ugh. Well, now, I think I just want to go for the kill... There's a pretty good chance that I win the game this turn, right? So let's just do the math again. So I have this plus this is 10, um, 13, 17, 21. So yeah, we'll just try it. All right. So that was, that was a good draw. <laughs> I mean, that's part of the deck. That's why Leroy and Power Overwhelming are in the deck. And since I drew both Leroy and Power Overwhelming early on, I had like a pretty bad start, but it enabled me to have that combo finish. Kind of a kind of a uh, and not really something that I was expecting to top deck into, but you know, it happens occasionally, <laughs> I guess. And just that ability to finish games that you have board control over is really important in decks like this. And I mean my opponent used his life total aggressively. So maybe maybe he made some mistakes, maybe not. I think I was probably dead the next turn. He did play an eviscerate. I don't know. He might just not have drawn the Leroy and had like two shadow steps on a cold blood in hand. That is always a possibility. Whoa. Is he a shiny Gul'dan? That's terrifying. That being said, um, this is actually a pretty good matchup. I don't think I want any of those. Do I want the Iron Beak Owl? Mm, I don't think so. I'll keep the Mountain Giant, though. Alright, so I got two Mountain Giants and a Molten. I think I know what I'm doing here. <laughs> Whoa, my opponent is shiny. That is terrifying. Man. It is so cold in my room. I don't know how this happened. Air conditioning just went on and... I don't know, I am freezing to death here. Anyway. I don't really know if I'm supposed to coin into a draw. I take it that I probably shouldn't. It doesn't really do me any good in terms of getting me faster to mountain giants. And I don't really want to be low on life until... I, well, I do want to... I guess trading my coin for a... Whoa. I think I'm going to do it. I think trading a coin for a random card in my deck is good because I want to get to any taunts as fast as I possibly can. Any Defender of Arguses or Sun Fury Protectors. Well, I guess I don't really need to do it right away. I just need to do it by 
the time I can get these mountain giants online. There's a siphon soul. I mean, this hand is pretty much ideal for facing down a druid, I think. I don't know, I still might might lose. And my opponent's not really doing anything to me either. This is looking good, guys. <laughs> I am not going to be kidding you. Alright, so if I play this thing right here, then next turn I can play a mountain giant for four. So I don't need a tap. I can get some board presence. It's not I mean I do need cards actually. Maybe I should have. And also, like well, I don't know. Putting giants out isn't bad, and not really something we'll see. Innervate and Wrath. I'm okay with this. <laughs> I'm definitely okay with this. I mean, I don't... I don't know, he might be expecting like a Twilight Drake next turn, not a Mountain Giant, but... Oh, yes. Drop a Mountain Giant right in his, right in his face. The, the benefit of drawing last turn was that next turn I could have played... Mountain Giant and Sun Fury Protector. I think I want to kill his guys so that I don't get. Um, that I don't just get combo killed out. Oh man. If I don't discard this Mortal Coil, <laughs> I can just kill that for free. I don't think I need to. I have all my Giants in my hand, so I don't really want to discard them. Oh no, I should have drawn first. Ah, yeah, this is what you get when you're just trying to play a deck for the first time. That was a mistake. I could have drawn first and still played the, uh, played the thing. Alright, so, <laughs> silence is going to come in handy here. I believe this is the play. And... Honestly, my opponent's not going to be doing any damage to me for a while, so if I discard one of those Mountain Giants will not be the end of the world. Let's draw a card first. There's an Ancient Watcher. Oh, I, I got rid of the Mortal Coil. So that sucks. <laughs> um, Alright, well let's kill it anyway. That is unfortunate. That is really bad. <laughs> that is the opposite of what I wanted to happen. Okay, there's a swipe. Can't say I'm too surprised about that. Am I losing my other giant? I am losing my other giant. Oh god, this just got really bad. Oh, that's a good draw. Uh, I hope I don't die this turn, because I could. If he plays, if he has Force of Nature and Savage Roar, then I'm actually dead. In a game where I didn't think I would ever lose. And his top deck was Druid of the Claw. Okay, so it looks like I'm not dead dead. Alright, so I think that it just pays here to go ahead and drop this Molten Giant and this Taunter. So I don't just die out of the blue. Um, does it make sense to charge here? Probably not. Probably not. Because there's a good chance that I'm going to siphon soul it. Ugh. Of course. Probably just top deck that too. This is bad. <laughs> Alright. Oh, he's killing us, sure. Alright, I hope he attacks me. He's. Oh, he is going to. Pretty much a perfect turn. Do I want to kill the 2 1? Probably. Yeah, probably. Alright. 
this is still looking okay. I this is my last giant, so if he's got a big game hunter left over, <laughs> then I'm gonna need to draw some other big stuff like some Alex Straza or uh, or Lord Draxus. But this has been a game of attrition. We are just beating each other down, or mostly he is just running me out of um, running me out of my top cards. All right, that is not really an issue. Shadow Flame. So I could do that. And just start attacking him. I don't think I want to. I don't think I want to do that. Do I want to do that? I could like Shadow Flame this and Hellfire. I don't really want to do that either. Is there any way I kill him this turn? No, he's at 27. <laughs> Alright, uh... Sure, may as well. Uh, at 14 I can probably draw a card. <laughs> oh, okay, well that, that ruined everything. I should have done that first. I could have just Shadow Flamed my guy and then Mortal Coiled his guy, so... Huge mistake. But, um, yeah, I really didn't think I was going to draw that turn, and then towards the end I decided to. Okay, well, that's bad. If he doesn't kill my 8-8, then I probably win. If he does kill my 8-8, then I have 5... Um, uh, not the 8-8, thank you. Alright, so this is 10-17. Definitely want to do this one first. I'm still at 12, so I can take this 3 damage. All right! Wow, that was that was pretty much as close of a game as you can get without. Hey, we're a sea giant now. <laughs> yeah, I really thought that I was like way ahead at the beginning of that one, but then um, then towards the end he really came back, and I wish I knew how long I was recording for. Actually, regardless of how long I was recording, I have to stop. I am uh, I'm needed elsewhere. That was fun. Won a couple of games. Second one was against a reasonable opponent. I don't know. I mean, he's got 500 wins already with Druid, so he's got to be a he's got to be a pretty good player. And he definitely made some nice plays. I can't really think of any which were poor plays. Ah, <sighs> yeah, I made that or not. I think okay. So the uh, the way it really went wrong was when. He played the Sylvanas, and I randomly discarded my Mortal Coil. That was that was really unfortunate. But honestly, I think that his deck was was the Druid deck that was uh, leaning towards beating Handlock. So I'm pretty lucky to have won that one. I had a really good hand. I had a really good opening hand. And even though I misplayed a couple of times and I got a little bit unlucky, I was still able to win. That ju that should just show you. So me playing a deck that I'm not comfortable with and my opponent playing a deck that he's super comfortable with and probably pretty proficient at I was still able to win even though um, I made a couple of mistakes I don't know there's there's a whole bunch of factors balancing against each other and I managed to finish on top so thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and have a wonderful day bye